My name is Lara Pereira and I'm affiliated to the Stockholm Resilience Center and have an extraordinary position at the Center for Complex Systems and Transition at Stellenbosch University in South Africa. So currently I'm involved as an expert on the task force on scenarios and models and I have been involved since 2016. Uh, I'm also a review editor for Chapter 5 of the Values Assessment, and I was previously a lead author for the African Regional Assessment. EPES as a platform has a really important role to play in communicating the urgent need for improving our relationship to nature in order to achieve all the goals that we have for humanity. Um, part of this is to account for the diversity that we have on the planet, both biological but also cultural. And so we need to bring everyone on board this journey with us. The EPES platform offers us as academics a chance to have real impact in the work that we do by strongly engaging directly with a variety of stakeholders and decision makers across the globe who are thirsty for the solutions to the challenges that we face as a planet. It's really important to get practical messages out there. And this has been my uh, experience in a variety of intergovernmental processes that Quite often we're providing the science in the assessments, which is what assessments do, but uh, decision makers actually tend to want solutions or practical steps forward for how they can actually start to solve the problems that we're putting forward. So, for example, um, you know, the messaging around we need transformative change is extremely important and that's sort of really pushing the envelope on the, the kind of messaging that EPES has been able to do, but what does that really mean? And I know we have an assessment com coming up on that, but I think that we really need to focus on, on getting practical and also getting positive. Um, it's a fine balance between being able to sort of showcase how dire the current situation really is and what the sort of the trends going forward are if we don't do anything, but at the same time have a more inspired message around what we at, at multiple different levels can actually do to start affecting some sort of change. And I think that in order to really engage a broader set of networks and organizations and researchers, um, that we actually need to start giving credence to more of the marginal voices, um, sort of getting stories from the ground, uh, the ground up where people are doing very different and interesting things, but that they don't necessarily have a platform for being able to, to share those. Right now, we're kind of getting the same rock star voices and the nature papers and the science papers, which is very well known to everyone um, who's, who's with, within academia. Um, but I think what a real strength could be, or what a, a current gap is, is being able to engage with uh, people who are really working on the ground, doing cutting edge uh, research, but also more transdisciplinary research with decision makers, communities. Um, I think being able to, to engage them and share their stories would, would really help bring um, uh, another group of, of ac academia uh, on board, and also a lot of practitioners who are interested in the outputs that uh, IPIS is providing. So a personal bugbear of mine has been this obsession we have with scaling up. Um, and I think we really need to move away from um, this idea that we need to get bigger, that we need to hit bigger numbers and think more about what scaling impact actually means. And this is about um, being able to see when something really good or positive is happening on the ground, just to allow that to be a really good story that we can learn from but not try and then sort of double the numbers or triple the numbers or replicate exactly the same thing, but to be very cognizant of um, context and nuance and history and cultures that, um, that are prevalent across the board. And, and to think about more this idea of scaling deep, which is about the fundamental narratives or values that we tell ourselves around what a sustainable future could be for, for people in nature. Um, and, and to move into a sense where we can actually really appreciate the diversity that we have on the continent to not try to make everything look exactly the same.